So uh, I wanted to say congrats to everybody. I wanted to say everybody except Chris when you start talking about the finals, but uh, <laughs> I'll let it slide. I'm still mad, I was saying that earlier, I'm still mad at Coach Pop subbing Timmy at the end of the game for me to box out Chris, and obviously it didn't happen. Chris got the rebound, and then we went to overtime and lost that finals. <laughs> But uh, seriously, congrats. Congrats to, to everybody. It's an unbelievable uh, honor. I just landed uh, last night uh, from France, so I'm a little bit jet lag. It's like four in the morning for me right now. But uh, I couldn't miss it. Uh, obviously, uh, I never thought in my wildest dream, born in Belgium, my, uh, my dad is American, my mom is from the Netherlands, and I grew up in France, that will end up in Texas. <laughs> I had no idea where Texas was when I got drafted. No idea where San Antonio was. And uh, now I can easily say that Texas is home. And Texas is even more home than, uh, than France. It's crazy for me to say that. Growing up, uh, I was sneaking in, in my room, you know, watching the NBA games at 3 in the morning. I was a huge uh, Bulls fan, huge Michael Jordan fan. And back in the day, it was like impossible to come in the NBA uh, because before me, no European point guard made it in the NBA. And uh, I was very lucky that I had a, a crazy coach who uh, decided to draft me and threw me in the fire when I was 19 to run uh, an NBA team and run a, an NBA team who's trying to win championships. And uh, it was very hard at the beginning uh, because our superstar, uh, Tim Duncan, didn't talk to me my whole first year. So it's kind of tough when you're a point guard and you try to tell people where to go and he didn't want to listen to me because I think at the time he didn't believe that a European point guard can basically uh, run it to win a championship. So I had to earn that respect uh, because, you know, Americans, obviously, they're the best in basketball. Uh, and Europeans, we had to catch them. And uh, we made a lot of, lot of improvement, you know, over the years. But at that time, I had to earn uh, the respect of my teammates. So uh, I worked very hard to earn uh, that respect and show uh, the Americans and show my teammates that in France we can play uh, basketball too. And so uh, I've been very blessed. It's been an unbelievable journey. Um, the Spurs were obviously uh, unbelievable. I was very lucky to have great teammates and um, to have success, you know, in team sport. It takes a lot of stuff to, to go right. And uh, as a point guard, I was very lucky to have uh, unselfish teammates. It was really uh, no ego. And all we care about, it was winning championships. And so um, it's nice to have moments like that tonight, to be a little bit uh, nostalgic, because life goes super fast. Uh, Bob talked about what's happening right now in, in Ukraine. And obviously, it's very close you know, to, to France. And it's crazy how life is. So you really have to appreciate everything, uh, everything we have. Obviously, in the US, it's an unbelievable country. And I'll always be grateful for everything uh, that that country uh, gave me. And uh, now I try to give back. Uh, I do the same thing, you know, with my country. I want to help the new generation by opening, you know, two academies and I'll keep giving back. Uh, as an ambassador of French basketball, it's important to, to take that role uh, seriously. And um, to finish, I always tell my kids, um, if you have a dream and you tell your dream to somebody and he's not laughing at you, then you're not dreaming big enough. And so people was laughing at me a lot, but now I'm in the Hall of Fame. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.